Today we're going to prove a pretty cool fact about the total derivative of linear transformations. So let's say that we have some kind of a linear transformation f, so f is linear. What we want to prove is that the total derivative at a of f is equal to f. Basically, that because f is linear, this total derivative, which is itself a linear transformation describing how f is changing at a point, is just the same as f itself. How are we going to do this? Well, one way of showing that two functions are equal is to show that for every possible input x, we have that the linear, sorry, the total derivative, this linear transformation evaluated at x is equivalent to just evaluating the function at x. How can we show this? Well, let's try to evaluate both sides. So we'll keep this side the same, and we'll try to show what this f of x part, we're going to get to f of x from the total derivative. So let's try to use the definition of the total derivative. One thing we know about the total derivative is that the total derivative at a in the direction of f, I'm kind of hinting you off on directional derivatives here, but the total derivative at a times x is the same as, I'm just going to write it out, is the same as the directional derivative, the directional derivative of f at a in the direction of x. Because the total derivative is a linear transformation, it's able to capture every facet of how f is changing at a point a. But if we go ahead and multiply this total derivative by x, we change that complete description into the description afforded by the directional derivative. So now, what we can do is we can rewrite, well, what is the definition of the directional derivative? It's a limit. It's like the regular derivative. It's the limit specifically as some value h approaches 0 of the following fraction. f of a plus h times x. Here we have, we're starting at a, and we're going out a little bit in the direction of f, minus just f of a, and we can divide all of this by h. And what do we do with this? Is it just the, the definition of the directional derivative? Mm. What we can notice is that because f is linear, we can break this apart. This can become two separate things. We can break apart the f of a part and the f of h of x part. So let's do that. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a. Let me use my correct colors. Of f of a plus f of h times x minus f of a all over h. Great. Now we can cancel out the f of a's. Cancel, cancel, and rewrite. You limit as h approaches 0. And now notice this term, again, we have a scalar inside that because f is linear, we can bring it to the outside. We can say that f of h times x is the same as h times f of x, all divided by h. Well, this is really working great with our formula here, this definition of the directional derivative, because all of a sudden, the linearity of x means we can just cancel h. And now we can just evaluate this limit. There are no more h's. This equals, well, just plain old f of x. And so if we come back up here, we notice that we've just shown that the total derivative at a times x, or evaluated at x, I should say, is equal to f of x. There was no assumption on what kind of input x we were using, so we've shown that this is true for all x, and therefore, 
we have successfully shown that this fact is indeed true, that it is just equivalent. Hope you enjoyed and that you learned something.